Okay, welcome to the subject development of new food products. Lecture number two, development of new special purpose food products using raw materials of animal and vegetable origin, classification of special purpose food products and their characteristic methods for designing the composition of food products. We will talk about development of new special purpose food products and uh, their classification. Development of new special purpose food products using raw materials of animal and the vegetable origin. Special purpose food products. When enriching food with functional ingredients, it is recommended to observe the following principles. To enrich food products, it is necessary to use those micronutrients, the deficiency of which actually takes place is quite widespread and dangerous for health. For example, in Russia, such micronutrients should primarily include vitamin C, group B, folic acids, and from mineral uh, minerals, iodine, iron, and calcium. It is necessary to enrich with the vitamins, minerals, and other uh, ingredients. First of all, mass consumption products that are available to all groups of children and adults and regularly used in daily nutrition. Such raw materials and products include flour and bakery products, milk and fermented milk products, sugar, salt, beverage, baby food products, and so on. The additional cost of the enriched product should be acceptable to the intended uh, consumer. The introduced nutrient elements must be biologically uh, available in the product, product. Fortification of food products shouldn't worsen the consumer properties of these products. Reduce the content and the digestibility of other food substances contained in term change in the taste and aroma. When fortifying food products, it is necessary to take into account the possibility of chemical interaction of FPI which, with each other and with the components of the enriched product and choose such combination forms, methods, and stage of application that ensure their maximum safety during production and storage. They regulated and quarantined by the manufacturer. Content of vitamins, minerals, and other substances in the food products enriched with them must be sufficient to meet at least 15% of the average daily need for the micro micronutrients at the usual level of consumption of the enriched product at the expense of this product. The number of functional ingredients additionally added to the product enriched with them should be calculated, taking into account the possible natural content in the initial product or raw materials used for its manufacture, as well as losses during production and storage in order to ensure their content at a level not lower than regulated during the entire shelf life of the enriched product. The regulated content of functional ingredient in the products enriched with them should be indicated on the individual packaging of this product and strictly controlled by both the manufacturer and the state supervisory authorities. The effectiveness of fortified products required confirmation by tasting on representative groups of people who demonstrate not only their complete safety, acceptable taste qualities, 
but also good digestibility and the ability to improve the body supply of micronutrients introduced into the composition of fortified products. The organization of the production of combined products is an urgent task of modern stage of the development of the food industry. Lipatov after classifies combined products into three groups generations. There are products that are close to traditional inorganoleptic parameters, but some of the raw materials have been replaced with hydrated components equivalent in protein content. Products that meet the, the needs of for essential nutrients. Products that provide material and energy balance in the human body. On the basis of modern concepts of nutrient science, the basis principle of design and multi-component food products are formulated. These principles should be guided when developing combined food products. The process of creating such products consists of several stages. The technical task is formulated, including the main requirements for the composition, properties, organoleptics, nutritional and biological value of the design product. Search for the necessary ingredients and the combination that allow you to implement the requirements of the technical task. At the same time, economic indicators are taken into account. Development of the technology for obtaining a new product. At this stage, the methods and models of preparing individual ingredients for processing are established as well as the main technological parameters for the production and storage of new product. Study of the composition and properties of the newly obtained product and determine its compliance with the specified parameters. If there are def definition, deviation in the composition of properties, the recipes and technological parameters are adjusted until the product fully meets the specified characteristics. And uh, development of regulatory and the technical documentation and implementation of the results of work in practice. When creating combined food products in addition to the above requirements, it is necessary to take into account the habits, tradition, and national characteristic of, of the people. The presence of a large number of various food components, the use of which is impossible in the production of combined food products, indicates the need for a clear scientific approach to their development. The source of uh, the source of such raw materials are very diverse. They can be divided into six main groups. The first group should include fruit and berry and vegetable additives used in the natural forms, as well as in the form of syrups, concentrates, or dry mixtures. These additives allow you to adjust the content of vitamins, carbohydrates, minerals, and dietary fiber in the dairy products. In addition, they usually give dairy products a pronounced taste and aroma of fruits and vegetables as well as an attractive appearance. Raw additives of the first group are used in the production of fermented milk products, deserts, cheese, butter. The second group consists of products of marine crafts. It should be noted that this group represents a very large reserve for creating a variety of combined products. The use of fish and fish products allow you to regulate the protein and lipid composition, the relative content of free amino acids, fatty acid composition, the content of iodine, fluorine, potassium, as well as organic acids. And the third group should include wild plant raw materials, edible fern species, mushrooms, rose sheep, hawthorn, nettle, and other plants. 
As a rule, they contain biologically active substances for preventive purposes. Natural reserve of such of raw materials are very significant and can fully meet the needs of the food industry. The fourth raw material should include legumes and cereals. The use of soy processing products is particularly promising. With their use, you can produce a large number of products. The use of soy allow, allows you to regulate protein and lipid metabolism, as well as influence the ratio of free fatty acid in them. And the fifth raw material groups of components used in development of combined products consist of biologically active substances. The primary importance of the development and organization of mass production of dairy products with biologically active substances is indicated by a constant shortage in the diets of the population. Such products are especially necessary for regions that are environmentally unfavorable. An increase in biologically active substances in dairy products gives them ther therapeutic and the preventive properties. And the sixth group of promising sources should include the raw materials of microbiological synthesis and uh, this is one of the unconventional methods of obtaining food products associated with the biosynthesis of microorganisms. It is believed that in the future it will be able to eliminate one of the most important food problems, protein deficiency, which currently amounts to 50 million tons per year in the world. Thus, it can be concluded that the prevents, presence of large number of various food components, the use of which is possible in the production of combined food products, indicates the need for scientific approach to their development. Here you can see classification of special food, uh, special purpose food products, and their characteristics. Changes in the future of nutrition caused by the properties of modern lifestyles and work are becoming the cause of an increasingly widespread uh, of chronic non-communicable diseases in various age group of the population. The properties of nutrition and health of modern men, the development of research in the field of food hygiene, the development of new food technologies contribute to the expansion of the range of food products, stimulate the reach, the search for a new source of food raw materials. The production of healthy food products for prevention of widespread alimentary food and nutrition related diseases is becoming increasingly relevant and specialized food products, food products with a given chemical composition to the enrichment, elimination or replacement of micro and the micronutrients with other food components for various categories of the population. These include products for the nutrition of athletes, nursing and pregnant women, the elderly and the children. In accordance with the technical regulation of the custom union on the safety of certain types of specialized food products, including dietary, therapeutic, and dietary preventive nutrition, the following terms and definition apply. It is food products of dietary therapeutic nutrition, food products of dietary preventive nutrition, specialized food products, and food products for the nutrition of pregnant and lact lactating women food products of internal nutrition and food products for diabetic nutrition, anti-reflux mixtures, mixtures for the nutrition of premature and underweight children, low lactose, lactose-free food products and food products of dietary therapeutic or dietary preventive nutrition. Specialized food products should have a 
scientifically based prescription composition aimed at the target group of consumers, regulated indicators of the content of essential nutrients according to the requirements of regulatory documents, as well as information on the packaging about the functional orientation and consumption conditions. Taking into account the current regulatory documents, it is proposed to pre present the classification of special purpose food products in the following form. The main classification fe feature is the purpose of food uh, products and two main groups of uh, products are identified, general purpose and special. And here you can find the references of uh, the lecture number two. And thank you for your attention. For the consultation, you can come to Auditorium 205 and here you can find my mobile phone.